All right, welcome back. We're gonna go look at, at a few of these snakes, kind of like a small mini room tour. And this is what we like to see right here. First thing in the morning, checking on locks. We have a super pastel. So it is a two copies of the pastel with a fire and a clown. And then we have a chocolate leopard clown right here. And whenever they breed, they do like to make a bit of a mess, but that is your lock right there. Super excited, trying to get the chocolates fire clowns. And uh, if we can get pastel, which we will, because it's a, it's the super pastel, so no normals on that. And so the least we can get is a pastel clown, which is perfectly okay. And then if we hit the chocolate pastel, that's cool too. Um, anything with chocolate, I would just be super happy about on that. So let's check out some of these animals. We see a lot of the ball pythons all the time because that's mainly what uh, the breeding process is on these. But let's check out some of these boas because they're looking really good and we don't see them too often because, you know, I got way more stuff going on with the ball pythons, with the breedings, and I just have so many of them. I can just show you guys those. Um, a lot more. So this is a gorgeous IMG Motley Hypo Jungle 100% Het for Snow Boa from John Chosmer. And uh, this girl is definitely getting darker and darker every single shed. When I first got her, she was dark-ish and you could see a lot of her patterns and a lot of the uh, different stuff that was going on with her. But now that she has some age on her and a lot of sheds, she's almost all black. If you get her in the right lighting, you can see a bunch of beautiful iridescence on her. A lot of purples, a lot of greens um, <clears throat> on the iridescent, but mostly just all black. And she's got a really cool looking belly on her. Not solid black, still has some really cool colorations. But I would highly recommend John Chosmer if you're looking for boas. He has ball pythons, but he definitely specializes in high quality boas. So go check him out. I got a lot of stuff from him. Most of my boas are from him, which is awesome. I do have a few uh, ball pythons from him as well. And uh, just want to show you guys how amazing this one looks because she just shed out. And I don't know if I'm ever going to breed boas, but if I do, then I do have a really cool combination uh, for her. I do have a, a, a visual snow. So with her being 100% head snow, we would get IMG snows and everything all the other traits in it as well which would be awesome so let's check out another really pretty boa <clears throat> this one is a moon glow it's a female awesome colors total opposite spectrum uh color spectrums with this one really nice yellows really nice whites on her and uh, the moon glows are just phenomenal looking and a lot of people do like these um you can kind of see the colorations on the saddles but they blend in pretty well with the rest of the color on the body as they get older but beautiful animal growing nicely not pumping them full of food because um my goal is not to breed boas so i don't need to get them all super fat within a couple years they can just grow as they naturally want to as i'm feeding them let's check out just another beautiful lady right here so I got this one from uh, Chai Town Constrictors, and this is an IMG VPI. So the VPI is like a caramel albino, it's not a true albino, but it's not gonna make the snake go jet black or any blacker than this, I don't think. So I've seen some adults, they basically look like this, they're very, very dark. Awesome colorations on the belly. And then you can still see a lot of the cool colors and patterns on her tail and throughout her body as well. So I love the IMG stuff, but I also like the snows and the moon glows. So it's really tough, but adding them together, you do get a really cool, pretty snake. Um, so from what I, my understanding is the IMGs and the snows, they kind of brighten the colors just a little bit. So you're not gonna have a darker snake. So it's really weird how those two interact with each other on the, uh, the color scale. So, we saw, so we'll check out these ones over here since we're on the boas. Let's keep in line with those. So here's a male that I got from John. It's a snow. So this male would be perfect for that IMG, the first one. That's head for snow. 
and make some awesome, awesome babies. So the males do stay a little bit smaller than the females. Um, I don't think this dude's really ready to breed yet. I know that female's not, but probably the end of next year, if, if I want to go down that route. I know breeding boas is, is difficult, it's stressful. Um, I mean, you can get lay slugs on the ball pythons, but the recovery time with the ball pythons to rebreed uh, is not as significant or stressful as it is with those, from my understanding. So this one's awesome too. I got this one from John Chosmer. It is a jungle uh, VPI, which is gorgeous. Awesome, awesome snake. Really awesome colorations. The tail coloration on this one is perfect. This is probably one of the nicest ones that I've ever seen. And I'm glad I had the opportunity to buy this from him. And who knows, the future, who knows what the future holds with bows. But like I said, my main goal is ball pythons and the green anacondas. Not really has anything to do with the, uh, the bows, but you never know. So we already saw one of those. Let's check out just a couple of the ball pythons. This one is an orange dream. Yellow Belly Mojave Blackhead Pied from Canova. Got a lot of my ball pythons from Canova. So good quality, going into quality, make some awesome babies. So beautiful snake, kind of a different looking snake. I do like how the Mojave makes it like the sandy color and then Blackhead is always awesome. And then you obviously the orange dream and the yellow belly just makes it look even better. So we'll put her back and this is my <laughs> most expensive snake and um, horrible eater horrible all she eats is African softers so I'm actually breeding softers just for her I am feeding some of them to the boas but she's the only one that's eating uh, softers and it's just taking her forever to gain weight because even adult softers they only get like that big so I can't really feed her medium rats or uh bigger small rats because he doesn't eat them which is kind of frustrating so we got this one right here from i forget who uh yeah i don't remember who so it's an orange dream fire clown awesome snake she's been locked up with that chocolate leopard clown so definitely trying to hit the uh <clears throat> the chocolate fire so i got three chances three snakes that have fire in them that i've Really, really trying to, to go for that. Here's another fire, fire mahogany clown. Same males been with her. Beautiful animal from Canova. Awesome colorations, really cool patterns on her. I saw her on Morph Market and I just had to pick her up. So I have two different mahoganies. I've not seen these ones lock up. Not too sure why. I don't have an ultrasound, so I don't know what uh, follicle length that they're at. And this girl has a pretty bad shed. So since it's winter here, the room is dry. I try to mist down the cages as best as I can, but sometimes they don't have the most perfect shed. So this is a leopard mahogany clown. I do like the darker stuff. Beautiful animal <clears throat> from Canova. So, the male that's in here is from John Chosmer. It is a vanilla spot nose clown. And the vanilla, vanilla kind of acts like fire. It brightens the snake, it cleans it up a little bit. And then as they age, they don't dull out too much. But all snakes do dull out from when they were first born, which does kind of suck. But with this combo, we can definitely hit some Batmans, some mahogany fire, or, fire, or vanilla Batmans or anything in between. So that would be a good, uh, if all the odds are hit on that, a Batman Mahogany Vanilla would be amazing, but that's gonna take a lot of good odds on that. So we'll jump over here. This one just had a shed. This one's from John Chosmer as well. Just your beautiful basic albino pied. And I have two of these females from John. So there's the one. And then here's the other one. This one is way brighter, which is awesome. Really cool colorations on this lady right here, if she'll not be shy. There we go. 
Beautiful animal. Look at that. Gorgeous. I got two females. I do not have a male for them. I don't know what she's doing with her, <laughs> her head. But there we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome snake. And I don't know what male I want to get with these two. I could just get another albino and just make regular albino pies, but adding something into it would be really cool. I just think it would be difficult to see the, the different textures or colors because it's the albino, so it's going to hide a lot of stuff in there. Maybe black pastel. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to add more leopard stuff in because I got a ton of leopard stuff. But it's just difficult to, to try to add something into the albinos because you really don't see them uh, very well. You know, this girl right here is awesome. Another one from Canova. <laughs> so it's the Orange Dream Enchi Fire Pied. And honestly, look at the pixelations on here. It kind of, in my eyes, looks yellow belly, but he says it's not. So we're just going to roll with that. But there's a lot of pixels in here. Uh, so yellow belly is confusing. This one is an orange rim yellow belly enchi pied from Canova. Um, so this one is yellow belly. I guess it's, I don't know. They both have pixels on them. It is tough. It's tough, but beautiful animal. And both of these have been breeding with visual pieds. So that's really cool. Going over here to some of the stuff that I produced. I'll show you this yellow belly leopard male that is for sale. Beautiful animal, high white. You can definitely see the pixels in this one, so you definitely know for sure this is a yellow belly. Nice and bright, and then a little bit on the uh, on the tail right there. But all of the ones that I produce are eating weekly on rat fuzzies, so they're already on rats established. They're eating very well. Um, this one is really cool right here. I don't know which one's to <laughs> show you guys, but this one's cool right here. Probably one of my favorites that I produced. I don't want to sell it, but it is for sale, kind of. It's on Morph Market. I did put a higher price tag on it because I really do want to keep this and hold it back, but then I got bills to pay, so we'll see what happens. So it's a Orange Dream Yellow Belly Enchi Leopard Pied Possible Fire just because it is really bright, and it's been shedding out uh, you know, over the last couple months, and it has not lost any colors in it. And it just looks awesome. So I don't think it would have, I don't think it's a super Enchi. Both parents did have copies of Enchi, but I really think it's just a regular Enchi. But you never know until you breed them. So really, really awesome animal. And you can see it on the sides. Really cool pixelations on her. Just an awesome, awesome looking animal. So I got this beautiful. Oh, here's another awesome one that I produced. So we'll look at the other one next. So produce this one. I'm holding this one back <laughs> for sure. I had it up on Morph Market, but I was like, no, I should really hold back this female right here. So this is a Fire Enchi Yellow Belly Leopard Clown. I hit every single gene that I wanted to hit from the parents in this one. Just a really, really awesome, simple looking, but beautiful animal powerhouse to I don't know what male because it has fire and yellow belly in it. So I don't want to mix and I got a lot of yellow belly and then other fire stuff. I don't want to make white snakes. Not yet at least, maybe in the future, but as of right now, I don't want to do it because you don't know what else is in them. So this is an awesome female that I got from Rice Reptiles, the Black Pastel Special Clown. And this girl is Really, really awesome. So you can see on the, her head how it's got two different patterns on it, which is awesome. Really cool, bright, bold patterns from the black pastel. And then the nice high white sides with the special added into that. So I don't know if yellow belly would be a good thing to add into this or if it would be, I think it would be tough to see yellow belly in, in here. But just an awesome, awesome looking animal. So if I were... Oh, if I were to keep her, I am, keep, I am keeping her. So with her, you now she's still got probably till 2025 to breed. I have this male that I do want to keep, but I think this one's up for sale. I'm not sure. I should keep this male. I got a lot of males though, but it's an Enchi Yellow Belly Fire Clown. And I think this one would be awesome to pass around with a lot of these females in the future for breeding. Anything fire, and Yellow Belly is awesome, and she just cleans up the patterns a lot, and 
going for those bright snakes is is what I like to go for uh, with the fire stuff. So adding this to that black pastel special would be super awesome. And just a couple other things right here. So this is a leopard anchi clown. It's a male. This one is for sale. Everything's on Morph Market. So just an awesome looking, super clean, beautiful looking leopard enchi clown. So I keep this one, but I have so much leopards and enchi stuff that I just don't need this male uh, for future anything because I got a lot of males with leopard enchi, a lot of females. So basically my entire thing <laughs> deals of bunch of leopard stuff because I really want to hit a bunch of Batmans. Okay, so I got to see you guys at least one of the anacondas. So this is one of three green anacondas that I own. I own two females and a male, and this is one of the females. This is Mountain Dew. She's growing very, very well. Uh, we had a little bit of an issue a couple years ago with her health, but obviously she's uh, sprung back and is doing amazing. Perfect temperament on her, no problems. And uh, didn't really want to get the big one out because we saw her on a couple videos ago. And she's a pain to get out anyways. But this girl is nice, sweet, docile. Beautiful colorations on her. Awesome markings. And I really like the, uh, the belly colors on her as well with the sides. Super pretty snake. And as you can see, she's just curious. Wants to hang out. And uh, she is hanging out in these 8 foot cages as of right now. But thank you guys for watching the videos. Thank you guys for the support. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Saw a bunch of the animals that you like. And see you guys on the next video.